If you're being asked to build rag pipelines or work in the AI space, I want you to steal this diagram. And I don't just want you to steal it, I would like you to understand it because it will help you build better applications. The entire point of a RAG application is to get insights from your data, which lives down here, all the way up through to your end users. And these are the components and my recommended pattern for how you build that. Now we're obviously talking in the abstract, okay? I've not put names on top of these. I principally work in Azure, but I'm talking technologically agnostic for now. You've got your data down here. It doesn't matter where that lives. It could live in an S3 bucket. It could live in a blob container. I don't really mind. But you've got your data. You need to build a, your own ingestion process. And that needs to live in compute somewhere. It could be on a virtual machine. It could be, hell, locally on your laptop for some kind of POC. Or it could be in something like a, you know, a, a, a Lambda or a web function. The nice thing about having that as separate to whatever vector database you have is that you have control over that ingestion process. So you can write whatever it is that you need to write in order to be able to pass, understand and add meaningful metadata to the objects that you are putting into this vector database. Because it's perfectly true, right, that if you provision something like Azure AI Search, that vector AI database that is Azure AI Search, can do a lot of the things that ingestion pipelines will do. It can vectorize it for you. You can, figure it, you can configure it such that it adds vectorization and stuff to the data itself. But I actually want you to do that yourself here because then you have more control over it. Once things are in that vector database, you then have a web app. This could also be Copilot, but I would recommend a web app because again, that gives you significantly more control over deep search and leveraging metadata and things like that. And that web app has inside it an AI component. And that AI component comes from, you know, whichever large language model that you are using, it's usually an API call, but that allows you to orchestrate the demands that your users are placing on you. And by that, I mean, you could make multiple queries. So your users could come and say, hey, what are the trends over the data for these given criteria? And the logic to create those multiple requests that you are going to have to do to your vector database is taken care of inside your web app. It goes ahead and makes multiple requests to your vector database, gets out the data it needs, forms a meaningful response and gives that to your users.